When she's Mighty Thor, she's six foot and like, you know, jacked. And to understand what that might be to go through the world like that, I think is, you know, was really an amazing opportunity as a very petite person. <laughs> It was incredible to get to play this uh, powerful superhero. You know, it's it's rare, I think, to get these kind of opportunities in general, and particularly as a woman, it's also it's even rarer. So um, it was really, it felt really lucky, and I, I kept thanking Taika every day. I was like, this is so cool. He makes it his mission to make sure everyone has like the best day possible every day. You know, he's DJing, he's on the mic, trying to make everyone <laughs> laugh. Um, he does like crew workouts where he, you know, every hour on the hour, there's like crew squats and push-ups. And um, so it's just like, it, it really, I really understood how you can create like a vibe on set that makes everyone excited to come to work every day. And I think that that's um, really, really just incredible. Well, I think it's really wonderful that those conversations are happening because I think the conversations are what has been propelling the expansion of this and the normalization of it. Like, I think that's really lit the fire under all the people in power, um, you know, to make more films with central female characters to make more superheroes that are female. But yes, I pray for the day when it's completely normalized and we don't have to talk about it and it's just, you know, the way things are. I, I look forward to that day. But I appreciate until it really is kind of just the way of the world, I appreciate that people are still propelling the conversation. It's incredible and I, I see the effect um, on my kids of getting to grow up in a world where there are characters that represent all of humanity and all of the range of, of human possibility and I see that how different it is the way they're growing up versus the way I grew up. The actual uh, entertainment and creative expression that people are putting out into the world I think gives shows them that they can be, you know, they have the full range of possibility for who they want to be, who they want to love. It was really fun to get to play, um, first of all, both sides of this character, that there's this superhero kind of like tough, badass side, and there's also a very human, vulnerable, um, self-doubting, fearful side. And then also to have this character become big, you know, she, when she's Mighty Thor, she's six foot and like, you know, jacked. And so to understand what that might be to go through the world like that, I think is, you know, was really an amazing opportunity as a very petite person. <laughs> and then to think, what, what does it mean to take up as much space as possible? What does it feel like to walk into a room and see over everyone's head and be able to kind of control and have people be intimidated by you that, it's just a very different way of walking through the world. Also, there's no hiding, you know, like I can walk into a room and kind of like no one pays attention, but when you're that big, you know, Chris Hemsworth walks into a room and he can't help but everyone looks at him, just he's an imposing figure. Of course, also very well known, but um, <laughs> first step is recognizing the influence of this kind of pressure to take up as little space as possible, which I think is kind of like a female message we, we get you know, with all the like, be, be tiny, be tiny. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean, the recent Supreme Court decision around that has taken away women's right to make their own decisions about their health care, because abortion is health care, is clearly, um, you know, devastating to live in a country. Uh, where your personhood is not is is not given the same um, treatment as as others. I, I think that that's been probably the most blatant, infuriating um, example of just feeling like you're in you you live in a country that that doesn't doesn't value you and your agency and your autonomy in any way. I feel like the past decade has been like a, a real like learning process of learning how to use my voice and seeing so much, I think, uh, learning so much from being in community with other women. Those kinds of sharing um, conversations with other women 
that I work with, um, that's been really, really, I think probably the most, like had the biggest impression on me in terms of learning to, to use my voice. I think early on that um, I went to college, I feel like a lot of people were kind of like, why are you going to college? And that was really amazing for me to kind of get this, first of all, like life experience and learning experience and also the group of friends that has sustained me to this day of, you know, just incredible people who are doing all different things. And then I think having a family um, while working also just gave me a complete new, first of all, appreciation and understanding for every working parent, um, but also um, gave me a new relationship to my work. Sometimes the limitations I've had of like, oh, I need to shoot things that only happen during my kids' school vacations in the city where I live, you know, have actually led me to creative experiences I might not have otherwise mm. taken on because, um, like always, sometimes your creative limitations like bring you the, uh, the kind of breakthroughs as well. Oh yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like I know myself better than at any other, which I mean, I, I should hope for everyone that at the moment they are, they know themselves better than they did before. But yeah, there's always the feeling of like, ah, if I could just be 20 again, knowing what I know about myself now, you know, I could really take advantage of that moment much better. <laughs> well, it, did, it just makes you exercise kind of different aspects mm. of yourself because, you know, you obviously, a lot of what you do as an actor is being quite fluid and, and working to help create someone else's vision, namely your director, and I love that. And um, obviously advocating for your character and what you think creatively, but also working within someone else's structure, which I love. And then, um, you know, when you are producing or directing or running a business, you're in more of uh, creating the structure kind of position and um, and you know dealing with things that come up and you know putting out fires and there's it, it's a different level of responsibility so um, it's been it's been really interesting to kind of find those parts of myself.